Hi guys, Joel here, back with uh, another video. Now I'm probably a bit late for this, but I decided to talk about my top 10 games of the 2010s because it's now the 2020s. And I'll only be including uh, one game per franchise and remakes and remasters won't be included. So, let's begin. At number 10 is Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, Grand Theft Auto 5 is one of the best selling games of all time, and Rockstar has made sure of it with its multiple re releases. Though Rockstar has ruined their company reputation with its mediocre multiplayer, but the single player was very awesome. Not my favourite GTA game, but still very awesome. The characters were well written, and Trevor will go down as my favourite GTA character of all time. The story was interesting, even if it was a step down from other titles and lacks any single player DLC. GTA 6 will probably never see the light of day, but overall, GTA 5 was a solid entry to the Grand Theft Auto series. Coming at number 9 is Max Payne 3. This is my personal favourite Max Payne game. It had a cool story and awesome set pieces that reminded me of John Wick. Some people were a bit skeptical about it being a lot different to the first two Max Payne games, partially because of those unskippable cutscenes and it being developed by Rockstar and so Remedy. Still, it's a very well received. It was still very well received. It had a solid multiplayer mode and was the last good multiplayer game developed by Rockstar. At number eight is Uncharted 4: A Thief's End. Now, this is the only Uncharted game I've played so far as of recording this video. But still, I had a lot of fun with this game. It had lots of explosive action, which is instantly replayable, and it has easily the best car chase in any video game I've ever played. Its storytelling is strong, the characters are interesting and compelling, and had a fun multiplayer mode. I'm looking forward to playing the upcoming remaster and the other games. So, at number 7 is L.A. Noir. This is one of the best games Rockstar have ever made. Although it was the first video game to introduce the season pass concept, which has become one of the most greedy and scummy things about the gaming industry, with its historical themes and its thrill of mystery vibes inspired by true crimes that happened in LA in the 1940s, makes this a must play for anyone into crime dramas. So at number 6 is Far Cry 3. This is my favourite Far Cry game of all time, with a rich open world sandbox, compelling villain Vast Montenegro, played brilliantly by Better Call Saul's Michael Mondo, who will go down as being one of the best video game villains of all time, which also revolutionized the franchise and has also sparked the creation of its badass spin-off title, Blood Dragon, which comes with its juicy 80s synthwave soundtrack along with Michael Bean's Terminator, Kyle Reese. And if you know me, I'm a big fan of Terminator 1 and 2, and those are my top two movies of all time. And number five is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is the perfect card. Best story, best multiplayer, and best zombies, along with the best villain in a Call of Duty game, Raul Menendez, who will go down as one of the greatest video game villains of all time. And it's my favorite multiplayer game of all time. And number four is Doom. Man, this game is intense, with its non-stop adrenaline pumping action and its badass heavy metal soundtrack that would make Ozzy Osbourne proud is my favourite video game soundtrack of all time and must be experienced by any fan who is a, root, is a fan of the root classic Doom games. And number three is, do, is Batman Arkham City. I found it a bit hard whether to do Arkham City or Arkham Knight, but I chose to do Arkham City because it's the most, po it's most popular and I have a lot of nostalgia from this game. I always feel like I'm six years old whenever I replay this game, and I remember having bad dreams about the Joker, and this will go down as the greatest superhero game of all time, and one of the best open world games of all time, and Batman will go down as my favorite superhero of all time. At number two is The Last of Us. This is an emotional uh, draw of rag, filled with a well-written story and characters, which is one of the best the gaming industry has to offer and will make you cry and feel all kinds of emotions which has won over 200 game of the Wii awards in 2013 and i can definitely see why because it's my personal favorite game of 2013 and my second favorite game of all time finally at number one drum roll please right to hell retribution 
Haha, <laughs> just kidding, that's the worst game of the 2010s. It's Red Dead Redemption 2. It's arguably that has the best story ever told in a video game. This does everything the original did well and perfects that with some nice replay value added to a mix and an ending that is just as sad as the previous game. Though it does lack in any single player DLC and the multiplayer is very mediocre and is a massive step down from Red Dead Redemption 2. But the single player is a masterpiece and it's my favorite game of all time. Now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what were your top 10 games for 2010. And I'll see you in the next video. And if you want me to, I can do uh, top 10 games of the 2000s and hell, even top 10 movies of the 2010s if you want. So, yeah, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Have a nice day.